Hello everyone. So today I wanted to talk about INFJ, uh, the child, and love, and love through the ages. And lately uh, we've been commenting and watching some movies, and mostly it was about um, narcissistic families or dysfunctional families uh, dynamics. So Suze, uh, Suze Joyani, she recommended a few ones, and uh, I tried to watch um, Ordinary People. Uh, unfortunately, uh, YouTube has it in chapters, and it's very difficult to watch. And also, uh, Michelle from Breaking the Chain, she recommended a movie. And that movie is called, it's a very old one. Um, leave her to heaven. Um, that movie is full, and I started watching it, and I was like, oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Brought back memories, memories of uh, the kind of love that the 9 uh, child uh, may feel. And it's a love uh, without filters. It's a love um, from the heart, and um, in that movie that uh, I'm going to recommend to watch as well, Leave Her to Heaven, um, Ellen, Ellen has that sort of love, a love that uh, comes from fixation, and uh, it reminded me that... Um, in my childhood, uh, I did have that sort of fixation. It was for my mom. Um, basically, uh, that love I felt for my mom was um, n with no filter. And um, there was uh, no, uh, how could I say, there was no life experience, of course. And it was a love that... Um, basically make disappear everything else and everyone else too including myself but in this movie of course uh, it's a childish and dangerous sort of love Ellen in that movie um, has a fixation with her dad but she's already a grown-up woman and past that fixation to a young man she met in the train. Now, what was a bit um, eye-opener is the fact that we talk a lot about the narcissistic person and the way they don't love, they, they just love themselves and all that, but not much, uh, we haven't talked much about the one that actually love too much. And um, in the love too much, they create chaos and destruction for everyone else because there is no room, there is no love but for that person they fixated with. Now, I don't know if that is uh, a description of love, but I'm pretty sure that if you ask them... Um, they will say they, they love that person. And if you watch the movie, uh, Ellen um, can't love but, you know, her husband in that movie. In her way, she destroyed everyone else around her, including herself. But um, it was surprising to, to see a movie where the actual psychopath or... I don't know how to call that person, uh, actually love too much. And um, made me think that's the way um, I felt as an INFJ child, uh, a fixation um, for my mom, uh, a great love for her. I couldn't see no fault on her whatsoever. Of course, in, in a child that's normal, or I believe it's normal, because um, there is no life experience, there is no filters, 
uh, you just uh, love from your heart. There is no thought process on it. And make me think that perhaps is what happened to this kind of uh, chaotic, um, dysfunctional people. Um, their love has no maturity. Uh, even if they grown up, uh, they still feel just like a child. And um, just like a child is possessive or feel a bit of jealousy perhaps and don't want to share the loved one, um, perhaps is what happened with this kind of narcissistic, psychopathic people um, who uh, some of them may even say, well, I, lo uh, <laughs> I love her or I love him so much that uh, I couldn't share with no one and I killed him or her, you know. And um, that, is, um, that is a really uh, scary thought, isn't it? Um, loving too much, perhaps. Anyway, I highly recommend the movies. Um, the one that Sue's Journey uh, recommended, like uh, Ordinary People, and also uh, Michelle from Breaking the Chain. And it's called Leave Her to Heaven, and it's for free on YouTube. It's a great movie, very old. Great, great movie. Okay, bye for now. Thank you.